Milan, a city in the Lombardy area of northern Italy, is well known for its historical and architectural landmarks. It is also a well-known global hub for fashion and design. Milan is a bustling city that is active all day long. An almost limitless array of tourist destinations and landmarks can be found in Milan. With the abundance of attractions to visit, you'll never run out of places to go. In order to make sure that your vacation to Milan is one to remember, watch this video and stay till the end because we made a list of the best places to visit in Milan. Every year, millions of tourists from around the world travel to Milan. Whatever your interests, Milan has something to offer. Here are the best places to visit in Milan, Italy. Starting off our list is the Milan Cathedral. The Milan Cathedral, commonly known as the Duomo di Milano, is the biggest cathedral in Italy and the fifth largest in the world. It is a well-known tourist destination in Milan that draws more than 5 million tourists yearly. Started in 1386, the Milan Cathedral was built over the course of five centuries. It is stunning with its Italian Gothic design with 135 exquisitely carved stone pinnacles above the roof. There are 2,245 marble statues adorning the exterior. The gigantic cathedral can hold 40,000 worshippers at once. Thousands of statues, gargoyles, and ecclesiastical figures can be found there. A stairway or an elevator can transport guests to the cathedral's roof, where they are free to explore and take in the view. Next on our list is Castello Sforzesco. Castello Sforzesco's stunning architecture and lush grounds make a side trip worthwhile. It was built in the 14th century. A stunning art gallery, the archaeological museum, and archives are now housed in the complex. In the castle's Museo di Arte Antica, you may view the Pieta Rondanini, Michelangelo's final completed work. Collections of musical instruments, ancient and Egyptian artifacts, and medieval armor and weapons can be found in a number of museums. There are restaurants, a small pond, and walking paths near Castello Sforzesco. Another place worth the visit is the Piazza dei Mercanti. It features four main structures and is one of Milan's most attractive squares. The Palazzo della Ragione, also known as Proleto Nuovo, is the first structure and is situated on the northeastern side. It was built in 1233 to serve as the city's administrative hub. The other three buildings are Casa Panigarola, Palazzo del Squal Palantine, and Loggia Degli Ossi. Piazza Mercanti is also home to a number of large statues and other monuments. At night, a lot of tourists visit this place. Next on our list to visit is the Parco Sempione. Visit Parco Sempione, the city's biggest green park for a tranquil getaway in Milan. You can go for short strolls while admiring the cityscape or just unwinding. This park covers more than 40 hectares that you will undoubtedly fall in love with. The park is also home to a wide variety of creatures, plants, and beautiful buildings. Visit the 36 tanks and more than 100 different species in the Milan Civic Aquarium, which was built for the 1906 World Fair. The Arena Civica, a renowned amphitheater located inside the park, is where contemporary events like sporting competitions and concerts are held. On the fifth spot of the best places to visit in Milan is Ambrosian Library. With its extensive collection of old books and manuscripts, this vast library is one of the top destinations in Milan. The Library of Biblioteca Ambrosiana is named after Milan's patron saint, Ambrose. It is also one of the most famous libraries in the world. The largest collection of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings and manuscripts, known as Codex Atlanticus, can be found in the library. Learn more about the history and culture of Milan by exploring this library. While you are there, see art restorers at work on strange Renaissance masterpieces. Do you want to know more about Milan's other tourist attractions? Keep on watching as we share with you more places to explore. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. For those who like architecture, go to the Royal Milan Palace. It is also known as Palazzo Real. This magnificent piece of architecture is a must-see in Milan. It is one of the most prominent cultural and exhibition hubs for a variety of subjects. The palace is home to the Contemporary Art Museum and the Doma Cathedral Museum, two of Milan's biggest tourist destinations. Next on our list is the Navigli Lombardi. Navigli is renowned for its stunning surroundings as well as for its cuisine and culture. It is also known as the primary hub of nightlife in Milan. Navigli is the best place to unwind after a day of sightseeing and enjoy a drink while watching the sun go down. Visitors can enjoy a variety of activities in Navigli. It includes dancing to Italian music and taking a romantic stroll along the canals. A 55-minute cruise down the Navigli Lombardi is one of Milan's best attractions. There are numerous bars and eateries with a party atmosphere in this bustling Milanese neighborhood by the canal. Along the canal, there are various shops where you can purchase souvenirs. 
The Teatro del Verme is number 8 on the list of the best places to visit in Milan. It is one of the best places to see a performance and is highly recognized by art fans worldwide. The theater was created by Giuseppe Pestagalli and is situated on Via San Giovanni Sol Muro. It was built in the conventional horseshoe style with two tiers of boxes and a wide gallery with more than 1,000 seats. The Milanese theater hosts musical productions, concerts, and exhibitions. Leonardo da Vinci National Museum of Science and Technology is another place worth seeing in Milan, one of the biggest museums of science and technology in Europe. It is around 50,000 square meters in size and is hidden within the cloisters of a Renaissance monastery. 16,000 historical artifacts and noteworthy accounts of the development of science, technology, and Italian industry can be found here. Equipment from Galileo, Newton, and Volta is also on the show at the physics displays. Additionally, there is a gallery devoted to Leonardo da Vinci's artistic creations. Topping off our list of places to visit in Milan is Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II. It is one of the most well-liked tourist destinations in Milan. The Galleria is also one of the oldest shopping centers in the world. It is an exquisite 19th century shopping arcade also known as Il Salotto di Milano. Construction on it lasted 12 years and it was finished in 1877. This mall has mosaic flooring, soaring ceilings made of blue glass, and a towering center dome. It features well-known labels including Prada, Borsalino, and Louis Vuitton. Additionally, it includes a large number of tastefully decorated restaurants, including some of Milan's oldest establishments like Cafe Biff. Additionally, it has a welcoming terrace where you can unwind and enjoy a drink while taking in the ambience and beauty of this building. Milan is a city for everyone and a terrific destination to visit because of its upscale atmosphere and amazing places to discover. That wraps up our list and we hope you enjoyed our video of the best places to visit in Milan. What's your favorite place in Milan? Is it the Milan Cathedral or the Parco Sempione? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.